Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use auto clicker on your iPhone. So let's get started. So first, you need to go ahead and set it up. In order to do that, you're going to go into your setting. From your setting, go to accessibility. And from accessibility, we're going to go down to the physical and motor and then click on switch control. Now from the switch control option here, we're going to need to set up a switch. So we're going to tap on switch and then we're going to add a new switch. And then from here on, we're going to select screen, full screen. And then from this action menu under the system, we're going to tap on is tap. So we're going to make sure it says tap and then go back here. Now that's step one. Step two is you're going to go into recipes. And in the recipes here, we're going to go ahead and create a new recipe. And then here we can name the recipe. So for example, name it auto tap or click, whatever it is, right? And then we're going to go ahead and assign a switch, which is going to be the full screen switch that we just still created on the other page. And then from here on, we're going to select the action, which is going to be custom gesture. And then here is the part where you want to get it right. So wherever you want the auto clicker action, so if it's a specific area or multiple places, you want to go ahead and select that. So I'm going to select maybe a few of them, but if you're trying to do it for one spot, you'll go ahead and do it and hit save then after you do that. Now with the custom gesture, we're going to go back here, go back again. We have our thing set up. Now there is a way where you can specify a timeout if you like. But again, this is optional. You do not have to do that. And we're going to go back here. And then launch recipe. We're going to go ahead and tap on auto tap and then go back. And then go back again. And in order to activate it, there's two different ways you can do it. You can do what's known as auto scanning where you can set a timer for it to automatically scan every one second or every many seconds. That's going to be one way to activate it. Another way to also do it is by going back here, and this is going to be probably the easiest way to do it, is under the general you want to set up an accessibility shortcut, and then we're going to go down to switch control, and then go back and ensure that's the switch control. Now basically what will happen is when we triple click on the side button, the auto clicker will get activated. So if you were to be on a page, for example, if I triple click on this, it will automatically configure the switch to be on. Just like that, as you can see here, we can see those configuration. So that's how you would do it. In order to stop it, you'll triple click again, and it will exit you out of that auto clicker mode. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.